want to start by reading a verse you probably already know from the Bible. John 3 and verse 16. It's probably the most well-known verse in the whole of the world. John 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now the next verse you might not know. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So we need to understand, it's not God's will for any to perish. God does not want you to go down to hell, my friend. And that's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. The next verse says this, He that believeth on him, that is, on Jesus Christ, is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. And here's the reason, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So the question remains, have you believed in the name of the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who died upon the cross, was crucified for you and for me. He himself has no sin. Yet he was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Now we'll look at those verses again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You see, we've condemned ourselves by not believing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no difference for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because of that, we're heading down to hell, and God was not happy with that. God did not want that. And so he provided his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to be crucified for you and for me, that you and I would be saved, that you and I would receive forgiveness for our sins. But the only way is through the Lord Jesus Christ. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish, for them that are perishing, foolishness. But unto us which are saved is the power of God under salvation to everyone that believeth. So we need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to receive this forgiveness for our sins so that we can enter into heaven. So we're going down to hell by default. God does not want that for you. He sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. See the emphasis. Him is the Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Your sins can be totally blotted, or blotted out in the precious blood of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Goes on to say, and this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. Have you come to the light? The light is the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is what you can have right now, my friend, the light of life. You can have spiritual and eternal life by putting your faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Yes, but he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, 
and there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Enon near to Salem because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized, for John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question uh, between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. In other words, all men, all people are coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. I wonder, are you coming? You need to come. In repentance toward God, that's a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and God promises you everlasting life. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ. He was confessing the fact that he's not the Christ. He's not God's anointed, the chosen one of God. The one that would come down from heaven, live upon this earth the perfect life that you and I could never ever live, and then die the perfect sacrificial death upon the cross for you and for me. Yes, he said, I am not the Christ, but I am sent before him. He paved the way for the Lord Jesus Christ. He was introducing people to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what we do as gospel preachers. We're presenting the Lord Jesus Christ to you as the only saviour for us poor sinners. When we're born in this world, as I've said, we're born as sinners. God wants to make you into a saint. God wants to give you his righteousness so that you can enter into heaven. You cannot be in heaven because of your sin. Neither can I. As I said, for there is none righteous, no, not one. We've got to be born again. We've got to have the new birth. We've got to be born by the Holy Spirit. We've got to see in the word of God that we're guilty of sin before the Lord. And we're heading down to hell. And God does not want that for you, my friend. He's not willing that any should perish. No, he doesn't want you to go down to hell and burn. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to be in heaven. But you mustn't think you can get to heaven by any other way apart from Jesus Christ. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. So John the Baptist was sent before him, before the Lord Jesus Christ. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. You see, the ministry of John the Baptist was coming to a close. And the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ was beginning. And so, John the Baptist wanted to take a back seat, so to speak, because the one who, who, who he had introduced to the people was here at last. He was the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare you the way of the Lord. And the Lord Jesus Christ had come. He that cometh from above is above all, meaning the Lord Jesus Christ. He came from above. He left heaven's glory to come down to this sin-cursed earth so that he would die on the cross for you and for me, be crucified for you and for me. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why he said, he must increase, but I must decrease. The spotlight must be upon the Lord Jesus Christ when we're preaching the gospel. He is the center of attention, my friend. He's the one that you've got to come to know. If you do not come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, 
He will be your judge in a coming day. Don't let that be you. And as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment, so Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin or apart from sin unto salvation. That's what we're waiting for now. We're waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, that is the believers, the Christians are, into the air. He's going to come down into the air to catch us away to be forever with himself in heaven. What about you? Will you be left behind to go through the seven-year tribulation period that will hit this earth once the people of God have been taken away to be forever with the Lord? And what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that hath received his testimony hath set to his seal that God is true. Another scripture comes to mind. Let God be true, but every man a liar. For he whom God hath sent, hath sent speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. He's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. The Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. If you believed on the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, you have everlasting life. You don't have to wait till you die to find that out, my friend. You have everlasting life straight away, the moment you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Why is that? Because Acts 4.12 plainly says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Do you have the Son of God? Have you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes, the Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. In other words, if you have not believed on the na in the name of the only begotten Son of God, you do not have spiritual and eternal life. I can see you have physical life, you're walking around or driving a car, whatever the case might be. But you need something more than that, you need something deeper than that, of more importance than that, and that is spiritual and eternal life that can only come by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The, the one who was crucified upon the cross can be your saviour this hour, my friend. But you've got to come to him. You've got to believe on him. You've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God. Look at the difference here in verse 36 of John chapter 3. This is the last verse of John chapter 3. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. There's no doubt about it. A present possession. All those who believe on the Son have everlasting life. As a present possession for all of eternity. It's eternal life. It lasts forever. No matter what you do, you cannot lose your salvation. It doesn't depend on our behavior. It depends on the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ upon the cross. And if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and his finished work upon the cross, his precious blood that was shed, your soul is saved eternally. You can never ever lose that salvation. But the other side of the coin is this. Don't let this be you. But he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. In other words, won't receive spiritual and eternal life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. If you die in that condition without Jesus Christ as your Savior, you'll be in hell. There's no use beating around the bush, and I dare not do that. 
This is an eternal decision you need to make. It has eternal consequences, I should say. Your decision for or against Jesus Christ will determine your eternal destiny. You're either going to be in heaven for eternity through faith in Christ as your saviour, or you're going to be down in the lake of fire and brimstone, the lake of fire and sulphur for all eternity, in eternal torment, in the eternal burnings, because you have died without putting your faith in Jesus Christ, and he has become your judge. Don't let that be you. You need to be saved, and you need to be saved right now. Time is running out. Are you a child of God? Have you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Come in repentance toward God. Change your mind. Agree with God that you are a sinner. And then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great night. Just want to show you the verse that I had uh, had displayed there. God bless you. Thanks for watching.